the, with the T. T. Yes, come on in the room, my babies. It is time for Foodies with the T. Got him, man. Hello, hello, hello. I got him, man. I'm not trying to hear that. See, I got him, okay. man. What you mean that's, got to do that's, with me? That's how, that's how you feel, me. Okay. okay. I mean, you know, it is Men's Health Month. Yeah. And then, you know, we're on the, the brink of cuffing season. So oh, we, we full in. I thought that was a befitting song. What you we mean are, got to do with me? We are full <laughs> in, Quan. Do you understand? We are full yeah. in. And, um, and we wanted to make some suggestions because I understand, I personally believe that cuffing season is initiated by men. I could be wrong, especially big boys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether I should be offended or not because I'm on the thing. But um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I can't say who created it. I probably would say it's a bigger thing for the men that it blowed up to what it is. Okay. Because you know they ain't got no nothing with their name on it, child. And when it get cold, got to get the <laughs> Cuffy, 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 the baby. dogs come in the house. Ain't enough hay in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> but, but here's the thing that I want men to be mindful. You know, with that cuffing season comes certain responsibilities. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is. And keeping your health intact is one of the ways in which you alleviate certain situations like ED. And for those of y'all who don't understand what ED is, erectile dysfunction. Okay, there are a lot of different conditions, whether it be diabetes, whether it be um, cholesterol, whether it be um, heart situations that mm -hmm. actually interfere with you having proper erections. Yes, they don't yeah, think it's, but they you know, think they have things for they get you some honey packs. <laughs> but this guy hasn't been a personal partaker. But I heard they have honey packs, you okay, know. Okay, see, you, you're missing, you're missing the point. You're missing the point. I know, no, 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 no. But I'm, we I'm just saying, if that pack. just be your, you know, your situation, all these, all that these should not stop you from cuffing. At the convenience store, all these little pills and things that y'all been popping back in the day. They kind of like, you know, who was it? Irv Gotti, I think it was during Murder Inc. was known for basically popping those little blue pills to the point where it can do that so much that you're not really allowed in the vascular system that, that develops into your, your male parts will not work properly after a while. They will not. Those pills, any other types of medications, it's all types of things that can can cause ED. But if you're not getting checked, if you're not being proactive to go and find out and make sure that you don't have any problems, then you have to go to the gas station and get the honey packs. And and we want to prevent that for you men because I don't want you with a honey pack. And, be and let's be clear. No. And let's just be clear. Let's just be clear here. That doesn't necessarily mean, you know, has much to do with cuffing season. It's cold, right? So you want to, it, it's hell sleeping in a cold bed alone. So, and so I'm saying it, 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 if you're having those issues, you know, all the time, that's not necessarily the thing for the season. It's not. It's not always the reason for the season. You understand okay. what I mean? No, I don't understand what you're saying. Repeat that again, please, because that made no Your sense. Your ED, okay, ain't the reason for the season. <laughs> I'm just trying to be warm. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to be in this bed by myself. It is hell. But, in I'm, I'm, but I'm telling you. you that ED will get you out on the porch. I'm trying to help some Well, then, out, at, at, that, at that point, you should have, as Ogre said, a bullet in the chamber. You know what? <laughs> you should, you, you should, you, at this point, is what I'm saying, you should know who's going to be your cuff buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you never bring in a new cuffer. For the season, you don't do that. You give them a trial run. That's why we have autumn. Uh, you know, <laughs> some days it's cold, some days it's hot. You try them out. But when it's consistently cold, nah, baby, you, you, you get you a good standby. That's so weak. Okay. All right. Well, you heard it. And you better hurry up before they all get taken. <laughs> the shelves are almost empty. <laughs> well, do me a first. Stop by the doctors and, and your general physician first and make sure that you're ready for cuffing season because I don't want you put it out on the front doorstep. But hey, if you need more suggestions for staying healthy during cuffing season, 
Yo, Twan, how we get in contact with you and follow you for more? Listen, we are everywhere. You can go follow us on our own website, www.foodieswiththat.com for all the need to knows. I love it. And hey, you got it every day, Monday through Friday, right here inside of room 1420 on V949. Go Get your doctor. cup, buddy, and stay hydrated. <laughs> Go to the doctor, too. Because what your man got to do with me? I got a man. I ain't trying to hear that, see? I got a man. <laughs> you going to go with the BS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.